We are working on a web-based developmental tool so that women and men in Macedonia receive the same wage. One of the main factors undermining inclusive growth in Argentina is its very high macroeconomic volatility. So in our paper, we address just that by proposing a cycle-adjusted fiscal rule. It is high time to understand that inclusiveness is not all about money. That's why we are proposing an, a measure of inclusiveness through the human development lens. We investigate the female part-time worker situation in Latin America uh, and using the example of Chile. The main challenge for public policy is to improve yeah. their situation. Transparency International works to reduce corruption in the country and that is the reason why we work on Development Pact which is basically a tool in the hands of people uh, to demand transparency and accountability from their elected representatives. Our research investigates the role of conditional cash transfer programs in Brazil in promoting informal credit markets in poor communities and then also the creation of small businesses. In developing countries like Uganda, people and wildlife often cohabit, resulting in health problems. We are addressing this by meeting the needs of conservation and public health together. In our study, we found out that in rural China, girls drop out from school more than boys because of not having good access to water during menstruation. Saving people can be influenced by many psychological factors. We need to improve former financial institutions so that savings behavior can become more consistent. In developing countries such as Ecuador, basic service providers like maids are in a very precarious economic situation. I'm trying to investigate the best way to provide them with social protection. Surprisingly, we still don't have a clear definition of inclusive fraud. That makes it hard to measure how inclusive countries are and to design effective policies. That's why we decided to investigate the concept of inclusive growth. InfoLady is a model where women are the one who's creating access to information. And it can have a huge impact in a country like Bangladesh, where the main reason of disempowerment of people is lack of information. Conservation through public health. Okay, let me start again. <laughs>